Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So Solana now has actually a pretty full wave count to the downside in this ABC structure. Um, in the previous update earlier today on Discord, I highlighted the potential for one more low in wave five. It's now full, right? I mean, we have an A wave in three waves, a B wave in three waves and the C wave in five. So we've reached also the support zone. We've actually touched it, dipped into it today, and we're already reversing to the upside. And that is wave five of C of four, um, possibly complete. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, yeah, so just for a bit of context, we've been talking about this correction now for the last, I don't know, one to two weeks, maybe, one, last week or so at least. And this could be a wave four, but if we compare that with the duration of the wave two, I find that still a little bit too weak for a wave four. So actually, I think if we go up more directly from here, I mean, I, it could be the wave four. We would just have to see what the structure does. Um, I would actually prefer, if we talk really about a wave four here, that this turns into a wider wave four. I mean, it's always a question of how do you want to play this, right? We have an ABC structure to the downside complete or nearly complete. Didn't quite reach the 100% extension, which would be a very common target for a C wave, but there's no must to reach it. It is a three wave move down and on the micro level, I can identify five waves, right? So it is possible this uh, is now a low. It could be a low that sticks, but what we cannot rule out, and I might actually, I need to highlight that in a different color. What, what you can never rule out is, especially if the correction is rather weak or shallow, um, that this turns into a wider ABC structure. So A, B, um, C. Hold on, let me remove the blue area for now so we can see this better. So that this turns into a wider ABC. That's, that's always, you know, there's always the case if the correction might not be strong enough to correct the move up that happened. Because that's essentially what it is, right? This wave four is simply a correction in an overall uptrend, which is supposed to just correct the move that happened before. And if it's not substantial enough, rather just a very weak correction, then it could still extend further. I think the main takeaway, and I, I, I think sometimes people get confused. The main takeaway is the overall uptrend. So first of all, we have a correction, right? I mean, that's clear. We have a correction. But it seems like a so-called corrective pullback, which means the overall uptrend expectation can stay alive. So I'm still bullish with the potential of some deeper pullbacks. The deeper the pullback is, while holding support at $163, the better the reward to risk ratio. Yeah, but um, at the moment, the pullback is only very shallow for a wave four. So we definitely need to keep the door open for a wider wave four correction. And this is the support area where we can expect the reaction to start the wave five. But the question is just how deep do we go in this wave four? And I can only com confirm that we've started the next move up with a one, two setup to the upside, right? And that could be a one, two setup in wave five. It could be a one, two setup in the green third wave, which is also a bullish scenario, just more aggressively bullish. Um, so that's, that's important to understand. Again, we see it as a range. And the overall message is the wave count doesn't change as long as we hold above $163. So it's quite simple. So, I, you know, I sometimes see messages, people get a bit confused about this because they don't really know where the price in this correction will complete. Well, I don't know, right? I don't know. But what I can tell you is we have a three wave move down potentially complete. We have to be mindful that a larger correction could unfold, but it would still be a wave four. It wouldn't change the wave count. It might actually offer a, a lower entry price, but I can't guarantee it. And $163 is the key support. So as long as we hold above it, I'm overall looking for higher prices, right? But what that means for your portfolio, you only you can decide really. Now let's take a look at the larger um, time frame for the so or on the Solana chart. Um, and here you can see in, in really good ways, I think that comparison between the wave two and the wave four looks way too small, right? So that means, I mean, is this wave four? I mean, maybe, look how small it is. So we definitely need to keep the door open for this wider wave four. Best approach to handle this from a tactical point of view is to scale in, right? Keep it light up here and then you can scale into positions. 
if you have a different strategy, you know, if scaling in isn't for you, well, that's fine. You can still use the analysis for confluence, but obviously you might need to, to use some additional indicators or so. What I can tell you is once we have a one, two setup to the upside, things will be clear and we can confirm the onset of the next rally to the upside. That's the update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. By the way, for anybody who's interested in stocks, um, what we do as a special uh, bonus until the end of the year is every day for our gold members, I'm publishing one stocks one two setup on Discord. So if you don't have Discord access, make sure you, you get it if you're interested in stocks. Um, but again, it's for gold members and that's just a special bonus. You know, occasional stocks updates specifically for crypto stocks are included in the gold membership. But uh, as a bonus until the end of the year, there's going to be a one two setup every single day. Thank you very much. Bye bye.